This video will cover the topic, graphing a piecewise defined function, problem type 2. As we have previously learned, a piecewise defined function is a function split into multiple pieces with different domains. Let's take a look at our example. We can see here that the function f is split into two pieces with two domains. Let's start by graphing the first piece, x minus 2. We know that this piece of the graph is only defined when its x coordinates are less than or equal to negative 2. Since the highest x exponent is 1 in both pieces, we know that they are both line graphs. This means that we only need to find two points for each piece to draw the rest of the graph. Since negative 2 is included in the domain of the first piece, we can use x equals negative 2 to find our first point. And for our second point, we can select any x value less than negative 2. In this case, let's use negative 4. When we substitute both these numbers into our equation, f of x equals x minus 2, we get negative 2 comma negative 4 and negative 4 comma negative 6 for our two plot points. When are we able to tell if the endpoint circle is closed? Whenever we have an equal sign in the domain, we know that we have a closed circle for the endpoint of the graph. Now that we have our two plot points, we can draw the line through the two points, making sure to keep it less than negative 2, and with a closed circle, since negative 2 is included in the domain of this piece of the function. Now that we have our first piece graphed, we can begin graphing the second part. Our second graph is 3x plus 2, and we are given the domain greater than negative 2. Right away, we know that this graph will have an open circle at the point with the x coordinate negative 2, and a line graph to the right of that point. How do we know that the graph has an open circle? We know that it's an open circle because there's no equal sign in the domain defined. This means that the endpoint is not included in the domain of the function. As we did when graphing the previous piece, we need to choose two points. But in this case, the x coordinates need to be greater than negative 2. For this function, let's use the x coordinates 0 and 2 to find our points. When we substitute both these numbers into our equation, f of x equals 3x plus 2, we get 0 comma 2 and 2 comma 8 for our two plot points. Now that we have our two plot points, we can draw the line through the two points, making sure to keep it greater than negative 2, and start with an open circle since the piecewise function domain is not equal to negative 2. After we're done finding the graphs of both piecewise functions, we can combine the two graphs and we will have our final piecewise defined function graph. Notice that there are no gaps or jumps in the graph. In other words, we can trace the function's graph without interruption. This makes the function continuous. Okay, I think I understand how to do these types of problems, but let me summarize this. In order to graph a piecewise defined function, we need to pick two plot points for each piece graph that are within the given domain, and then we need to decide whether or not the ending circles are closed or open based on whether or not an equal sign exists in the domain. Finally, if the graph can be traced without interruption, it is a continuous graph. That is correct.